Welcome back to the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Last time, well, we did the festival, and it was amazing. But now, the Matron was attacked. All that money that was donated was stolen, and Agate joined us. This guy right here, this buff guy, with a cool scar on his face. So, with Chloe and Agate at hand, we will take on the people who did this horrible, horrible thing. It'll be fun. Oh, jeez. That scared me a little bit. Ah! Isn't that the way to the lighthouse? Hmm, let's go check it out. You got it. We will check the heck out of it. To the lighthouse. This will be very exciting. I think once we beat this group, I think that's it. That's the end of chapter two, I think. Hello, Selene. Welcome. I agree with you. Let's do this. Let's kick the booties of these people. Just as I thought, the Varen Lighthouse, it belongs to the city of Ruan. I remember, right? There's a man who lives here all alone. This appears to be the place. I'm almost positive that the ones who attacked the Matron Teresa and the children are here in this building. Which means there's a high chance the perpetrators have taken over the lighthouse. And from the looks of it, it seems to be the only entrance. I guess that's all. I guess all there is left to do is to check it out for ourselves. Yes! Now hold on there a minute, girl. I want to see the truth with my own eyes. What the hell are you talking about? I want to know why someone would do such a horrible thing like that. So please, take me with you. I can see what you're, where you're coming from, but... Oh, come on. Don't act all stingy now. The only reason we knew about this place to begin with was because of Chloe, and I can guarantee she can handle herself, so at least you don't have to worry about her getting in the way. Estelle, Joshua, fine, have your way, but I hope you remember that these guys are the ones who put Karna out of commission. Make sure you don't let down your guard. I'll keep that in mind. Well, I guess it's decided then. Alright, let's hurry and check the place out. Yeah, Let's get him! How's the volume, by the way? Is it too... Is the music too loud or too... Not loud? Let me know. But for now, let's go. These guys again? Aren't they the ones from before? I swear, if I wasn't looking at them with my own eyes right now, I'd never believe it. Volume good? Alright, thank you. Hey, what the hell are you all doing here? The Raven Game members are blank and emotionless. H hey! I got to look out! Oh, I thought they, like, he, like, stabbed him. Where are they getting the strength from? Dean, you son of a... This is just perfect. Now I don't know what kind of drugs you're smoking. But if I have to beat some sense back into you, I will. First round. Let's take these chumps on. Whoops. Let's go right out of the gate with a hell gate. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Oh. Good job. They hit pretty hard. Let's see what he has. Some cool crafts, wild rage. Huh. C plea plus 50, max HP minus 30 percent. And the arts are... well, they're nothing special. How about for a normal attack? Oh, darn it! Uh... How about we do... no. Let's do an art. 
Let's not get too crazy here. Okay. Boom. All right, that guy's uh, confused. Petrify breath. Massive boulder. Okay. That'll be fun. Boom. Nah, what are you gonna do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hellgate again. Stone Bat! Wild Rage is really good, especially in the second game, and if you do the S crafting between your turns, you can do a lot of damage just by hurting Agate a bit. And without waiting. Nice. I should definitely give that a try. Let's take care of him. No, don't take care of them. Whoops. Just attack normally, or at least try to get to him. There we go. No, no art. You ain't beating me that easy. Yeah, we will. Uh, he had the one wild rage. Pretty interesting. The question is, does it only work on himself? Yeah, it only works on himself. Shouldn't have done that. He's sassy. I, I can't believe it. These guys are a hundred times stronger than when we dealt with them at the warehouse. As crafts are 100, 9, 9, 9 CP. The same damage, but when you have 200, it does a bit more. Alrighty. I'll remember that. I had a feeling 200 would do more. These guys are a hundred. Yeah, I said that. They appear to be acting rather strange. I wonder what's going on. Hmm. It looks like they're being controlled by someone. C controlled Yeah, I agree. I'd say it's some sort of special hypnotic induction use using a combination of drugs and a suggestion. This allows the person controlling them to draw out their maximum physical potential. C can someone really do that? Of course, but they need to be pretty skilled to even attempt such a thing. And I can only think of one group that could pull off something like this. You have an idea who might be responsible? Yeah, possibly. But there's no time to talk about it now. Let's head upstairs. The real perpetrator should be up there. Alright, let's go. Charge! Oh boy, rise. Here they come again. It looks like we don't have any choice but to put them down the hard way. Hey, that's fine with me. It's the best way to put suckers down. Hellgate again. Ooh. That's right, everyone come over here. No, that's not right. How about... Flare strike did a lot, so we'll do that again. Uh, I guess stone hammer on this guy too. Sure. Do you have? Oh yeah, you had stone impact. We're all using arts. Boom. Flare. That guy's almost gone. Stone hammer! Good. Good, good, good. Uh oh. Critical hit! Ow! I guess attack uh, this guy normally. Okay. Or just miss. Whatever. Whatever, Joshua. <laughs> Heal! Miss. That's good. Whoops. Uh... Finish off... No, attack that guy. And 
you can go for him. There you go. Alright, just attack him normally now. Hua! Hit him! There you go. Now you're fighting like a man, Joshua. And then a boy in a princess outfit. You did look rather ravishing in that dress, though, Joshua. Fully healed. Uh, I can't even talk to these blokes. Next level. Rocco. I'm really sorry about this. I really don't want to fight with anyone being controlled, but... This isn't the time to be holding back. We don't need to kill them. Just knock them out! I know. Who would have thought the prettiest princess would be Joshua? Oh, this, these are fast people. Well, let's use our good old Hellgate. Of course, Rocco gets a critical hit. Let me see that face of yours. Uh, let's see. Fire or fire? A uh, flare arrow does as well. Art. See what Flame Smash is like. I'm rather curious. Okay, that's nice. I will not be doing that again. Uh, sure. Let's take on the minions first. Boom. Flare arrow. Course, another strength up. Don't you be loafing around like that. Uh Akate needs a little bit of healing, doesn't he? Just a little bit. Uh sorry to do this. See your strength is up and all that, but goodbye. Agate, you have one more chance to redeem yourself. There's accuracy raising quartz. There better be. I hope they're in. I hope they're in the, the second game at least. Invigorate. Don't you be loafing around like that. These poor people. Like right after getting invigorated, they go down. Yep. Later. Loser. Uh, let's use an S-Craft on this guy. A double... Yeah, that's good. Yeah! Alright, Rocco. What are you gonna do? You're going down! Do it again, quickly! Save your companion! No, not dead yet. No mercy. Oh, wow. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. How dare you? She had 700 HP, and then he did 500 and that kills her? It's stupid. Just for that, you're gone. Uh, we're good to go. We're good to go. Are we good to go, though? Oh, yes, let's heal as much as we can. Wards. Let's heal with these things. Oh, I can't? Fooey. Go down here, then? Items healing. I think it's time. Time to use our Salmon Meteor and our Steamed Egg. Oh, I didn't even 
do it all the way. Okay, let's go. We're good. We got this. Alright, no one's here. Hey, you hear that? Heh heh heh. A job well done. Haven't we seen him before? Now we'll be able to blame this mess on those punks and everything will work out perfectly. So, I take it that you're satisfied with our work? Yes, you've handled things nicely. But just to make sure, you haven't left any incriminating evidence, right? Haha, <laughs> you got nothing to worry about there. And even when those fools regain their senses, they won't remember a thing. The lighthouse keeper shouldn't wake up until morning either. I'm relieved to hear that. Stuart Gilbert doesn't have eyes, has, doesn't have red eyes either. With this, the matron of the orphanage should give up on her dreams of rebuilding it. And the series of incidents along with this arson will end up looking like the work of those lowlifes. We can get two birds with one stone. Perfect! What do you mean, get two birds? It's kill two birds. We are going to see that our clients are happy with our work. However, if you don't mind me asking, what's the benefit in destroying that orphanage? That's the one thing that I've been having a hard time understanding. Heh, <laughs> please. If you really want to know so bad, I'll let you in on the secret. The mirror intends to transform that entire area into a series of very, very upscale vacation homes. Interesting. A scenic seaside area not far from Ruan City. What more favorable geographic conditions could there be than that of for a vacation home? We'll build lavish estates there and then sell them off to the highest bidders. That's been the mayor's plan all along. Now that's a ritzy plan if I ever heard one. But I still don't get why it was necessary to burn the orphanage to the ground. Haha, <laughs> think about it. Imagine trying to sell a luxury estate to someone with a ramshackle place like that marring the view. Not to mention all the little brats running around by making it a ruckus. I see. Something like that would definitely cut the, their value in half. But instead of going to an extreme like that, why not just buy up and why not just buy up the place? Huh. You really don't think that you didn't really think that stubborn woman would sell off the land left to her by her late husband, did you? And if we were to haul away the burnt out remains while well, they were away and built something in its place, there's not much they could do, could they? <laughs> and since they have no money to rebuild the place, they'll have no choice but to accept their fate. That was your reasoning? Oh, we gotta take this guy down. How long have you been standing there? For something like that? You hurt Matron Teresa and the children and burn their memories to ashes? You deprive those children of their smiles. For that? How did you know we were here? But before that, what are those lowlifes doing downstairs? Too bad for you, they're taking a long nap. And to think that the mayor was behind it all. Plus some faces we've seen before seem to be involved too. So, you know who we are, do you? We have been briefly acquainted with that red-headed bracer before. Ha! So running off like dogs with your tails between your legs and sensing some monsters on me means we're acquainted, huh? But now I finally got you where I want you. C kill them! Kill them all! Now that they see my face, I can't let them walk out of here alive! It's unfortunate that you've fallen this far, Gilbert. Well, since this is a request from our client, I guess we'll just have to comply. Let's see what you've got, bracers. That's exactly what I was thinking. Just because you're hired help, don't think that you're any less responsible. I think it's time to make you taste the power of the heavy blade. Let's get him! These mysterious people. Oh boy. That does a lot. Oh wow. Gotta be careful with these guys. Let's keep using a couple arts. Just to calm them down. Estelle should heal everyone, I guess. You have no choice, really, but to do this. Okay! Pretty good. Latir! Alright, 
That wasn't much at all, actually. Uh, let's do what beat. See what beatdown is. How effective it is. Probably a bad idea, but I just want to see it. Woohoo! Shadow waving. Shadow waving again. That's all they know how to do. All right, one is down. Joshua's healed a little bit. Uh, we'll have him do a normal dual strike. Yeah, you like that? And we'll have Estelle attack normally as well. Ow! Leave Chloe alone. What did she do? Well, she's gonna finish you off now. Goodbye. Couldn't have said it better myself. Woohoo! That this can't be! Gilbert, steward of the mirror, and your boys and you boys in black, in accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are hereby placed under arrest. Give it up and surrender. Ugh. You're pretty tough, I'll give you that. Going toe to toe with you hasn't disappointed me at all. Ah, the lieutenant's going to be mad. He warned us about this. We shouldn't have been as careless as we were. The lieutenant? Do you mean the guy wearing the red mask who was negotiating with the Sky Pirates? I'm surprised you know about that. It looks like you dogs from the guild are better at sniffing things out than we thought. Your insults are pretty funny considering we just gave you a serious beatdown. Now hurry up and throw your weapons and s throw down your weapons and surrender. Sorry, but we can't do that. Uh-oh. What? What do you think you're doing? Don't move. Come any closer and this guy's brains are going to be splattered all over the place. Well, what is the meaning of this? What do you tend to do by threatening your employer? You're wrong about that. You are not our employer. The mayor is. Oh, the mayor is a bad guy. But whether it was you or the mayor here, the outcome would have been the same. We only cooperated with you because we shared a mutual interest. And we couldn't care less whether you lived or whether you live or die. But please, don't shoot, don't shoot me. Cut the tears and the crap. Don't think you can get away with trying to fool us with a show like that. Oh boy. Yeah, my leg. Ah, my leg. G Gilbert. Looks like they were serious about what they said. If this isn't enough of a show for you, then how about we blow the brains out of the lighthouse keeper? He has nothing to do with this. If his life means anything to you, then I suggest you back up. Let's see. Like over by the stairs. Seems we don't have much of a choice. Don't you dare shoot him. Haha, <laughs> that's right. Do what you're told like the dogs you are. And it looks like this is where we bid you farewell. Nice jump. Wait! Don't think you're getting away this time. Oh boy. Oh, they had a rope. A rope? These guys were seriously prepared for anything. I'm leaving you to take care of that idiot steward and the rest. What? I'm going after these guys. The rest of you report to Jean and ask him for further instructions. Ah! Uh... Alright, me too. Did you just see that? What? Did you just see that? Shouldn't we go after those guys too? No, didn't you hear what Agate said? We can't just forget about Gilbert and those guys from the Raven G Gang. That's right. And though I think Gilbert got what was coming to him, he's still... He is still hurt. Oh, alright. I hate to say this, but I guess we'll have to leave the rest up to Agate. Thus, in the end, Estelle and the others were able to take back the stolen money without incident. Yay! By the time the mayor's steward and, and the group of delinquents were safely locked up in the Minoria windmill shed, morning had already broken. Well, that was fun. Now then, I'll keep an eye on things here. Could you return to Rouen and report back to Jean? That's fine with me, but are you sure you'll be okay? 
Come on, it's just got a whiff of sleeping powder is all. It all happened a little too fast for me to remember who attacked me though. Pretty shameful, I know. Don't beat yourself up over it. You still managed to fend off four attackers. The children are safe thanks to you. I can't thank you enough. Haha, <laughs> well I guess there's that at least. Still, with Agate, will Agate be okay facing them on his own? I know he's tough and all, but it still worries me. Y yeah, if they somehow manage to get the drop on him. For now, we just have to trust that he knows what he's doing. He's been after those guys for a while now. He knows how they work, so I think they'll have a tough time taking him on. Yeah, I guess you're right. We'll just have to focus on what we can do. You're right. You're exactly right. I'll hang on to the donated money until the Matron wakes up. If those guys want it, they'll have to pry it from my cold, dead fingers. You can count on me. I'll be fine, so you go on ahead. Alright, be careful. Let's go, guys. Whew. Craziness. Absolute craziness. Alright, I can't go in there and say hi. Uh, give me two seconds, please. Okay, I am back. Just let me get my... Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's go. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Oh, two seconds is too much. Well, what can I say? I need a lot of time. Gotta check on the people who are texting me. I gotta... Well, that's all I had to do, really. Hey! Oh my, hello again. I heard from the innkeeper that the criminals have been arrested. You keep helping us so much that I... And I have no way to properly repay you. You really don't need to worry. It's nothing to be embarrassed over. Really? Hmm. It's probably better not to tell her everything just yet. We're going back to Ruan for a little bit so we can deliver our report. Karna's keeping an eye on the prisoner, so you can relax on that score. Thank you so much. What do you kids think about this? Huh, Daniel? Man, I'm so relieved. Now I'm starving. Wait, I have little kid voices for these. The Matron finally woke up earlier this morning. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank adios. Hey, Clem. Oh, hi, Miss Estelle. Did you really find those guys and beat them up? Awesome! And Polly, the biggest suspect of all of them. Yay! Matron Zappy again! I don't trust her. I think she's the real villain. She's the real final boss. Alright, let's get out of here. It's been fun. Dalmore was behind everything. He was just pretending to be all kind and everything from the start. Um, I've been kind of wondering about this, but will we be able to catch the mayor this time? Huh? She raises a good question. This may be difficult. The Bracer Guild has a non-interference policy when it comes to government affairs. And considering he has control over the whole Ruan region, arresting the mayor isn't going to be easy. Hold on just a second. Doesn't anyone else find this strange? It is funny, but the law is the law. It's why the guild can have can have branches and anywhere, even in the Urbonian Empire. Polly is the Grandmaster. I knew it. Hey Zara, Zara Seva, welcome, welcome to the stream. How are you? Yeah, but still. Anyway, let's just get to the guild and talk to Jean. I think he'll have some useful advice for us. Uh, okay. I'm fine, don't worry about me. We just need to make the man in charge pay his tab. Y yes, that's right. Just watch, we get to the mayor's office, office and he says, No, I was paid as well. It was Polly, she's the mastermind. She may look like a little girl, but she's actually like, uh, twice my age. Yes, that's it. That would have been a very interesting plot twist. Something tells me that's not gonna happen, though. 
I don't know what, but something tells me. I wonder who the big villain is. I have no idea yet. I'll be careful here. This might be the last time we have to pass this section. Don't you dare. Don't get clutched in the wall. Okay, good. Ah, uh, that was the worst. That was like a moment where I felt so hopeless. Like, no! Estelle got herself stuck in a wall. How do I get her out? I can't get her out. Do I have to start over? But Selene, with the save, saved the stream and said, Hey! Do the auto thing. The auto thing is on that section of the thing. So do the thing and the thing and the thing. Um... What? What is it, Chloe? Well, are you two going to the guild? I just remembered something I need to do, so can you go on ahead without me? I'll catch up to you shortly. That's fine. Are you going back to campus then? Yes. I think I should report into the headmaster and let him know what's happening. Hmm, okay, I got it. We'll be waiting for you at the guild. Alright. Bye, Chloe. I'm sorry, Estelle. You too, Joshua. Chloe produced a notepad and pen and began scribbling furiously. This ought to do it. Sieg! I understand. It's just hard to believe that Mal Dalmor is behind these recent events. Hmm. This is certainly a major incident. So, Jean, do you think the mayor can be caught? Well, I'm afraid it's going to be rather difficult. The only way it'll really happen is if he can be caught in the act. I figured as much. You can't be serious. So we just have to allow a corrupt mayor to stay in power? No, now, there's no need to panic. The Bracer Guild's hands may be tied, but the Royal Army can get him. Oh. Estelle, Joshua, I'd like for you to go to the mayor's estate and question him. It doesn't matter if he gets angry, I just want you to buy us some time. And if you contact the Royal... And you'll contact the Royal Army in the meantime? Haha, uh -huh, precisely. I'll contact Lyston Fortress HQ with the Orville communication system to request assistance. I don't have any. I don't like having to rely on the army, but I don't see any other option. Okay, once Chloe catches up to us, we'll go see the mayor at once. There she is. Ah, <sighs> ah. I made it. Sorry for the delay. Not at all. Perfect timing, in fact. That was pretty quick for our run to the campus. Um, well, I'm pretty fast on my feet. So what's the plan? We were just talking and going to the mayor's estate. We have to stall him with an interview with the while the royal army is contacted. Ah, I see. Maybe that wasn't so necessary after all. Um, so will you be coming with us? Oh yes, please allow me to accompany you. We'll be counting on you to contact the army, Jean. Just leave it to me. What did she do? Well, let's do this now. Yeah! Any more jobs, by the way? Nope. Good. So, we're going to the mayor's office. We should probably save, just in case there's a epic battle. Oh, boy. Taking down the mayor. Taking him down. We're gonna beat him up. And it will be a blast. Hello, Mr. Gardener. Man, this place is huge. Is he really doing all that nasty stuff from a place like this? Just misunderstood. Yeah, maybe. I don't think that really matters. Mayor Dalmore is originally from a large family of nobles. I think this estate has been passed down for generations. Okay, so the estate wasn't paid in for blood, at least. That's something. Anyway, we need to find him and question him. Let's get him! Unless he has the red eyes. You never know. We're keeping a lookout for people with red eyes right now. Hello, Mrs. Maid. 
Welcome to the Ruan Memorial Estate. Burning down an orphanage is totally forgivable. Yeah. They can just live elsewhere, right? <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, but the mayor is currently attending to some guests. Perhaps you could come back another time. What? Now hold on, just one second. I'm pretty sure we know who the guest is. It's Duke Dunan, isn't it? What? Why, that's exactly it. Have you received an invitation as well? Yes, it came directly from the mayor himself. I apologize for the inconvenience, but would you mind? Now that I take a closer look, you appear to be bracers. If circumstances demand it, then please go on up. The mayor and the Dirk and the Duke are in the banquet hall on the second floor. Excellent. Thank you for your help. Lush. Oh, right. Well, with so many guests arriving, I must prepare some tea. I really must prepare some tea. Please pardon me. She really must prepare some tea. Not kind of. Really. What? Oh, nothing. Uh, um, I was just thinking how impressive it was that you knew the Duke was here. Oh, it's just a matter of asking the right questions. He's planning to sell vacation homes to the rich, remember? Duke Dunan might as well have been a bullseye target painted on his misshapen head. Oh, darn it. That's smart thinking. Where'd you come up with that line about the mayor inviting us? It wasn't a line. He did invite us over the first time we met him. If those ravens start making it trouble again, feel free to drop by and let me know, or something like that. Oh, that's right. Aha, so he did invite us. Exactly. Well, why don't we head up to the banquet hall? Okay, now we'll save again. Because I don't want to repeat all that dialogue in case I die. Where's the banquet hall, anyway? Here it is. It's a lot smaller than I remember. No, it's this way. It's up. Gotta go up. I wonder what would be discussed in the doors. Duke Doonan. Oh, maybe we can fight this guy finally. <gasps> I like the sound of that. Ruan would be the perfect place for a vacation home. I think I might stay for a while. I think my voice changes with this guy. I'm doing a different voice for this guy every time I see him. Haha, <laughs> I had a feeling you'd think so. I'll see to it that you get the finest place available, my lord. I believe you'll be quite satisfied. Ha ha ha. You're quite the smooth talker. But good money is no object. Prepare me in a state that is worthy of your future king. Make it as, blending, as splendid as your holdings here. Pardon me, my lord, but wait a moment. The queen asks you to consult with her before spending such an amount of... Silence, Philip! I am to be your next king! Such purchases are every day for a man of my standing. Yes, of course. Well said, your grace. We can get a written contract to get together shortly, but first, one more drink. Oh ho! Hi there! Greetings from the Bracer Guild! Hi! You! <laughs> what do you people want? You look kind of familiar. Oh, it's you. Hi, Mr. Butler. We just dropped by to talk to the mayor. No biggie. This won't do. If you're here on guild business, you should speak with some semblance of manners. I'm in the middle of an important discussion, so why don't you come back later? I apologize for our rudeness, Mayor. We intend, we intend no disrespect. We simply came to report to you that we have identified the arsonist. Ah, that. Well, then I suppose. My lord, would you excuse us for a moment? Heh, no. Say what you're going to say here. This sounds interesting. B -b -b but it's okay. Maybe the Duke will have something to add. It won't do any harm for him to hear this, will it? Well, if we must. While we're on the subject, it seems that Matron Teresa was attacked again last night. Could the arsonist be linked to that? It seems very likely. Unfortunately, the attackers are still at large. I see. Still, at least you say you know who they are now. So who did it? Who indeed? It's exactly who you think it is, Mayor Delmore. Ah, I see. That's quite a shame. I was hoping I could make them see the error of their ways before it was too late. I suppose that was a vain hope on my part. Huh? Who are you talking about, Mr. Mayor? What do you mean, who? Why, the Ravens, of course. They've been in hiding ever since last night. 
I'm sorry, sir, but they aren't responsible. This time, they claim to be the victims themselves. What? what So without further ado, the culprit is... Mayor Dalmore, Duke Doonan, Stuart Gilbert, I believe. It was the Duke! But no, it was you. You, Mayor Dalmore! We already have Gilbert in custody, and we know everything. We also, we all, we also have proof that you stole the money donated to restore the orphanage your lackey set on fire. Can you deny that charge? N nonsense! Do you think I, do you think I know those people in the black clothes? Well, now that's a little strange. We didn't say anything about black clothes. Go. Nope. This is absolutely ridiculous. Gilbert was acting alone. You don't know when to give up, do you, old man? We know that you were plotting to build vacation homes on the land the orphanage occupied. Do you still deny the charges laid against you? Persistent little brats. But I've had those development plans in place for ages. They're just part of Ruan City planning. What reason would I have to be so impatient that I'd resort to criminal acts? W well, how about a mountain of debts? How about a mountain of debts to pay off? Agate? No. Niall? What are you doing here? I figured I'd come to the mayor's place to do some investigating when I see you two going in. The whole thing smelled fishy, so I decided to sneak in. That's it in a nutshell. Just who the hell are you? Oh, I'm a reporter with the Liberal News. The name's Niall Burns. Actually, I've been checking into the city's financial affairs recently. And what do I see? But that Mayor Dalmore here has been diverting funds from the city's from the city budget lately. I that's their funds for the expansion project. I'm not buying it. You haven't even started construction. I thought it was kind of strange, so I dug deeper and found links to the airship company's services. Now that was quite the little surprise. One year ago, you took more than a few trips to the Calvard Republic. I I was just sightseeing. A, re a reasonable claim. But the truth is, is that you've been amassed a nice big debt over there, am I right? Um, you're losing me. How? By using the town funds to speculate in risky commodities in the hopes of cashing in. Buying goods when they're cheap, selling them when they're high, that kind of thing. Oh, I get it. So how much did he lose? From what my fellow reporters over there told me, something to the tune of 100 million Mira. But 100 million Mira? That's a hundred times the amount donated to the orphanage's rebuilding. I can certainly see why one might turn to crime over an amount like that high. A uh, hundred million? I'm pretty free with my spending, but I've got nothing on you. Gulp. This isn't a competition, you know. Now that you mention it, he took funds from the city budget to pay off his debts and stave off any questions. But I can't understand why he would turn to arson and theft to build his vacation homes. It just all seems so... random. Hmm. Where's your proof? Go ahead and run your story with all of its wild accusations. I'll sue you and the newspaper for liberal. For the bell. Suddenly confident, are we? And you all. The Bracer Guild does not have the authority, the authority to arrest me. I'm the mayor! I want you out of here now! I guess he's right. He knows his rights. Mayor, may I, may I ask you one question? What now? What is the student of the Royal Academy doing associating with such people? Disgraceful! Return to campus at once! Chloe looked Mayor Delmore directly in the, in the eyes, her expression cold and stern. Why did you not use your own assets to pay off your debt? 100 million Mira is certainly a lot of money, but I think that House Dalmore certainly has enough assets to settle the matter. The estate, for instance? It would certainly sell for at least 100 million Mira. D don't be ridiculous! This estate has been handed down in the Dalmore family for generations! How could I ever simply let it go? The orphanage was no different. For many, it was a place fondly remembered. No one has the right to destroy something like that. How could you do such a thing? How dare you liken this estate to that dilapidated old hovel? 
You care for no one but yourself. More than being the mayor, or being the head of House Dalmar, you pitiful man. Ha ha, ha 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 You have quite the way with words, young lady. But let's see if you will change your tune in a few minutes. Battle. Oh boy. Fango Bronco! Come, it's dinner time! But what the? That smell. Oh boy. What the hell are those things? M monsters Urg girl. M my lord. Unbelievable. You actually keep monsters as pets? Hehehe. <laughs> Everything you think you know will die with you here. Don't worry. If there's anything left of you, I'll dump you in the river. Ha 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 ha! He's crazy. Oh boy. Grrr. Grrr. So, is the fighting freaky monsters part of the stalling pro plan now? Well, at least now we can arrest him for trying to kill us. I'm sure the other stuff will stick too after this. I bear you both no ill will, but I will not allow you to harm anyone. Alright, epic battle time? I agree. Epic battle time! Let's start with a dual strike! Alright, let's see how tough these guys hit. Oh boy. That's somewhat of a lot. Only somewhat of a lot, though. Let's, let's take one out for now. Should she be healing, though? That's the question. Let's try Stone Impact. Just, just for now. Where arrow? Stone Impact. Boom. All right, one is almost dead. Ah! All right, this isn't too bad. Okay, maybe it's a little bad. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's do another dual strike. Yeah. Feels good. And now, I should probably heal. Oh. Actually, how about a craft? Morale. I should have done that first, actually. Come on! Come on! Oh, darn it. Don't attack the stealth. Okay, good. Good doggy. Uh, craft, art... Uh... Darn it! I, oh, I can heal them all. This battle can be quite difficult, but I think your level is high enough. That's good. Whew! I would be very upset if I died now. Alright, I think we're good. Ugh. Ow! My voices for these animals are pretty good. Yes! One is down. Death throws. Oh boy, defense and agility are up. I should have done a, a, a different thing. You know what? It's fine. Uh, you shall do well. Just in case. You can use this again. Yeah. Do that. Oh no! Estelle's dizzy. Don't be dizzy. Under the stell. You know what? It's time. Sever! Look at these dogs. These big, massive dogs. Oh. Okay, good. Let's do another S craft. Pummel! Boom! That was a nice hit from Estelle there. And now... 
What's a fast? Can we do any, like, speedy moves? I guess not. Okay. Okay. Yes. Good. Boom. That did not do much. Okay, she's back. Ready, revives KO H and heals a lot of HP. You know what? I kind of want to see what, what it looks like, so I'll just use it now. now. What was that? Ooh. Woohoo! Basically, it fully heals everyone. Pretty cool. Uh, we'll normally attack you. Leave her alone. Look like a bug, I, I was gonna say. Like, what was that? That didn't look normal. Darn it! Curse you, Estelle. He whacked a lot of gems out of me. Oh my gosh, it begins. It begins, everyone. Joshua's amazing missing technique. That was a nice critical hit there. This is probably pointless, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Hurricane! Oh ho 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 ho. Alright, I'm gonna forget about uh, normal moves for now. That did nothing. This got really hard all of a sudden. How about Aqua Bleed? You do Aqua Bleed. You heal everyone again. Oh, gosh. Oh no. Now Estelle's not gonna be healed. Yeah, this just went from bad to... Oh. The thing with these two, one is weak against arc, one is weak against physical attacks. So, I can't hit this one with arts, because they won't do much damage. But now his uh, agility is so high and everyone else is so low that I can't hit him. Anyway! See? Oh boy. Estelle! Don't die on me! You dare die, Estelle. I will kill you if you die. I guess we'll keep doing, like, a little bit of damage with the arts. At least until, like, their S-crafts are at the maximum. And then they'll have no choice. They're going to have to hit if I do the S-big hit. Okay, good. Estelle can use hers now. Uh, you do, I guess, that, whatever. Haha, <laughs> I missed. Idiot. Joshua, I don't care. Okay, good. Death throws! It did nothing, because the other one's dead. Uh, we're good to go. That was challenging. That was really good. Ooh, look at all that. It can't be! My sweet babies! How can you do this? Uh, uh, you're one to talk. In accordance with the Bracer Guild protocol, and this time with authority, we're placing you under arrest. Surrender and you will not be harmed. Hehehe. <laughs> you leave me no choice but to use my trump card! Huh? A wand? Time stop! I, I can't move! Did he use an orbal art? 
N no this has to be an artifact. So what the hell is that? Well, well, your knowledge is impressive, Miss, R Miss Rince. This is the Cronus Rod, an artifact which happens to be a family heirloom. It can be completely paralyze anyone within range in the blink of an eye. But that's crazy! How does the church not know about such a powerful artifact? Haha, <laughs> with a tool crafted by the wise ancients themselves, what else would one expect? Tactical ornaments can't even begin to compare to this. Sadly, it only has that one function. Which means I'll have to sully my hands and dispose of you myself. Hehe, <laughs> you should consider this an honor. Uh-oh. Let's see. I think I'll start with a smart mouth little brat first. You leave Joshua alone. Who are you calling smart mouthed? Oh, it's Estelle. Perhaps I'll save the intelligent girl for last. Hehe, <laughs> now what was that you were saying about authority? You could plead for your lives, it might help, but I doubt it. To you, yeah right. Keep your filthy hands off! What's that? Keep your filthy hands off of Estelle! Don't you harm a single hair on her head! Or I'll use every technique I know to cut your miserable carcass to pieces! What? J joshua Joshua? You certainly talk big for someone who can't even wiggle his fingers. Fine, I'll start with you. S stop I'll never let you get away with hurting him. Joshua, die. No! What? That light. Damn it. If I could just reach my camera. What the heck was that? What? What's going on? I can move again. Estelle, what was that black light? I don't know, but I think... It came from that ornament Dad sent us. I impossible! My family heirloom, my artifact, it's broken! That hardly matters, since you played your last hand. It's time to face reality. Y yeah I can't believe you'd really stoop this low. It's disgusting. Grrr! I will not be taken in! Ah! After him! Okay. Hey, wait up! I can't let a story like this get away. And there's these two. Oh my, I believe I've lost a, I've lost a few years off of what little remains to me. My lord, are you alright, my lord? The monsters, the monsters! Jeez. What an idiot. But we gotta get him! The mayor was the bad guy all along. Oh, he's gonna escape, isn't he? No! Hey, what's that? It's Mayor Delmore's yacht. Hey, wait! We can go after him in this boat. Come on, you two, get on board. All right, we'll do. Steer the yacht in this fun mini game. Aw. Hey, let me come too! Nope, sorry. Ruan North Block. Whoa! Eek! Jeez. That was rather dangerous of them. Oh yeah, action scene. Get him! That's the worst yacht ever. Alright, we're closing in. This craft is small and lightweight, so we have the edge, it seems. Don't shoot! Damn stubborn little... Take this! Yeah! Very nice, Estelle. What? Ha, huh, that'll teach you not to underestimate a bracer. Joshua, flank him on the right. Roger that. Huh? What? Whoa, how'd it get so fast? The wind is blowing toward open water. It's catching the sails and giving him a boost. Not good. At this rate, the yacht has a clear advantage. We won't be able to catch up. Say what now? Ha ha ha, it looks like Adio smiles on me today. I bid you farewell, brats. No! You've got to be kidding! We were so close! He's going to get away. There must be something we can do. W what the? They're here. Ooh, boy. This'll be fun. Alright, 
Getting away is all well and good, but what now? I guess I have no choice but to head for the Empire. Or if I lie alone for a while, maybe he... Who's he, I wonder? Not that it matters. You're going down, buddy! What? what, what? Oh, yeah. Wah, wah, wah! Arg! Thank you, army. What? What's this airship? Is it the Royal Army? No, the coat of arms is wrong. It's the Royal Guard ship, a high-speed cruiser. Her name is the Arseal. Probably pronounced that wrong. Hello. Well, well. It looks like we it looks like we got here just in time. That blue and white uniform. Are you Her Majesty's Royal Guard? Precisely. I am the company commander, Julia Schwartz. The Royal Guard! Mayor Morris Dalmore of Ruan, I'm placing you under arrest for arson, robbery, and, and embellishment, among other charges. This is a dream. It has to be. No. No, no, no! Faint. Jump! Oh, Julia Swartz is a good one. You're a fangirl for her? Nice. What? What's going on? Jean called the Royal Army for reinforcements. But how'd they get here so fast? Haha. <laughs> ho ho, or ho there, bracers. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Please let us handle this matter. Julia Swartz saves the day. I pressed Mayor Dalmore for information once he regained consciousness, but he apparently can't remember anything regarding the past few hours very well, if he remembers them at all. He's also drawing a complete blank about the arson and robbery. R really? Kinda like the leader of the Sky Bandits. Maybe it's related to those men in black from before. Well, even if he can't remember, the crimes are pretty clear-cut. I should go without saying that we'll be checking out his steward, too. If we uncover anything, we'll be sure to let the Bracer Guild know. We appreciate it. By the way, Lieutenant, I have a favor to ask. What might that be? Would it be alright for me to get on board that ship as well? It's supposed to be the most advanced airship ever to come out of Zeiss. It'd make for a great story, and I really need one. I'm afraid not. The R sale was only just completed and, and is still undergoing flight testing. I must ask that you not comment on, on her at all until she's officially unveiled. What? Well, oh, come on! You've got to at least give me something about the mayor and his steward being arrested. Don't worry. The facts of the story will be given over to the Royal News Agency. Until then, please refrain from reporting any of this. Uh, what choice do I have? Alright, I can do this. I can write a story with even the barest scrap of info. I've got to hurry back to the agency and put these events to paper. If you'll pardon me, everyone. Okay, bye, Niall. Have fun. Well, he's in his usual high spirit. Haha, <laughs> would you expect any less? I'm told that the liberal news curriculation has increased dramatically of late. I hope he's not planning to write a big propaganda piece. What do you mean? Never mind. That was quite impressive, First Lieutenant Swartz. Who is it? Ooh, these two again. Colonel! Whoa! Colonel Richard! Oh, I remember you. I presume that you are new bracers the guild spoke of. Er. Oh, you were the one Jean got in touch with. Colonel Richard? Yes, I received word at Leiston Fortress, where the royal forces are stationed. I got here as quickly as I could, only to find that the crisis had passed. Excellent work, Lieutenant. But that's very kind of you, sir. Haha, <laughs> still, I wonder. Give me. Second, there we go. What would bring the guards from the royal city here, and so quickly? Perhaps you know of a route so secret that even our intelligence division is unaware of it. Sh surely you jest. Haha, <laughs> come now, Captain. This is hardly a time to pick a fight. I was simply admiring the proactive stance of the royal guardsmen. It's good to have you on our side. If it please, if it please you, Lieutenant, 
We'll take over the investigation from here and move matters to Lay's Stun Fortress. I believe the mayor will be well attended to there. Yes, sir, I understand. Now, if you'll excuse us, ladies and gentlemen of the Bracer Guild and Royal Guard, and the young lady in the uniform. Farewelling, I think we shall see each other again. And with that, I bid you farewell. Hee <laughs> hee. Safe travels, everyone! See you later. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but did the Colonel look like he was eyeballing Chloe to anyone else? Oh, what was he? I'm sure it's just because he doesn't see students very often in his line of work. I wouldn't make too much of it. Oh, haha. <laughs> um, I bet I'll bet you're right. That's probably it. Hmm, that's not the impression I got at all. I'm certain he is just as surprised as you are. It's hard to believe that Bracer so young would be so capable. He might be scouting you out to become parts of the Royal Guard. Oh, come on, don't flatter us. We had a lot of help on this case. You needn't be so modest. You're not full-fledged bracers yet, but I presume that you wish to become so. Well, yes, we're in training for it. We intend to travel all over the country before the Queen's birthday to celebration as part of our preparations. I see. You're partaking in self-study, then. Lieutenant Schwartz, everything is ready for the CEO's departure! Acknowledged. Estelle and Joshua, and Chloe too, of course. We must be leaving soon. I hope that our paths will cross again. Y yes ma'am. We'll be looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Yeah, I bet there's more to Chloe than meets the eye. Re regiment, attention! Whoa. Royal Guardsmen worship as our sail. Prepare for takeoff. Now we bid farewell to this glorious airship. Uh, gotta stretch. Gotta stretch. Wow, a salute and fanfare to go with it. That's a little overwhelming. Yeah, and a state of the art ship to boot. But I guess you'd expect as much from the defenders of Her Majesty the Queen. Haha, <laughs> true. Lieutenant Schwartz sure is cool though. She kind of reminds me of that character that Chloe played, Oscar the Knight. I think so too. Haha, <laughs> what an odd coincidence. Scree! Oh, don't tell me the Royal Guard Men showed up. And the R Seal was there too? She's supposed to be cutting edge. It's too bad I just work the info desk. I'd like to have. S I like. I'd have liked to see that. I never figured you for the military enthusiast. Still, didn't you end up speaking to Colonel Richard? Yes, he was on duty at Lyston HQ. I don't know how the Royal Guardsmen got there so quickly, though. I guess there's a lot more cross-communication in the military than I thought. Anyway, they manage... Amazing that they managed to communicate at all, given how many agencies there are. Regular Army, Border Patrol, Intelligence, the Royal Guard... It must be pretty complicated. Getting up after an incident like this will be a major undertaking. What will happen to the administration of Rouen from now on? Yeah, since the mayor's been arrested. I like to... I'd imagine they'll be sending in someone as acting mayor. And if Dalmore is found guilty, elections will have to be held. Plus, reparations will probably be made toward the orphanage. Really? Thank goodness. All of this is thanks to Estelle and Joshua. Thank you so much. Truly. Come on, you don't have to be so formal. We just did what was right. Plus, it wasn't just us. Agate played a big part. Speaking of... <clears throat> Jean, have you received any word from him? Yes, but unfortunately, I'm afraid he wasn't able to capture the men in the black uniforms. They were not alone, apparently. Agate was ambushed. What? Is he alright? Yes, he managed to defeat them. I believe he gave chase, and they're on their way to Zeiss. By now, he's probably well outside of Rouen. Wow, talk about hardcore. Well, he's got plenty of experience after all. He'd be chasing those black clad characters for a while. I think they're related to a job your father asked him to do. Dad asked him? And Agate just did what he asked? Ah, uh -huh. well, the one to put Agate of the Ravens in his place was none other than Cassius himself. 
and wherever and whatever he might like to claim, Akate stood no chance against him. Whoa, seriously? Cassius really beat some sense into him, and Agate is too stubborn to say, simply say thanks and leave it at that. Ah, I get it. Maybe that's why he's so abrasive when it comes to the to us. Abrasive, certainly. Abrasive barely covers that guy's attitude. Huh, guess he's not so high and mighty when when where dad's involved, huh? Haha. <laughs> oh, speaking of your father. Something wrong? Um, what about that black ornament that lit up and saved our lives at the mayor's estate? Oh yeah, that's right. So much has been going on that I forgot all about it. I wonder what that was all about. That ornament may have saved our skins, but it was still weird. An unusually col unusually colored ornament, huh? What can you tell me about it? Well, we explained that along with the memo, we the package addressed to Cassius. Oh my, that's quite the story. Hmm, from K asking about a Professor R. Could it be? You know what it means? Not specifically. I've got a hunch, but nothing to back it up. But if you want to know more of it about its origin, I suggest going to Zeiss. Why Zeiss? As you should know, Zeiss is famous for the manufacturer of ornaments. There might be some someone there who might know something about your ornament. Makes sense. We may never learn about the black ornament without consulting an expert. But we still have more training here to finish. Haha, <laughs> well about that. You may want to prepare yourselves. Received recommendation! What? Really? Haha, <laughs> you had to have seen this coming. I mean, you got a recommendation from Bose after the Sky Bandit incident. Given your crucial roles in all the cases recently, I see no reason not to, re to award it. Your assessment and reward have been prepared. Woohoo! Festival help! Theresa the target. Wow, all this on top of a pay for performing at the campus festival? Thank you for everything you've done for us. Come now, you've earned it. I confess, I'd also like to see you advance as quickly as possible. I believe we'll be able to make the best use of your talents this way. Haha, <laughs> thank you, Jean. We'll do our best to live up to your expectations. Congratulations, both of you. It'll be kind of lonely here without you, though. Chloe, you're right. It'll be tough to say goodbye. Oh, please don't mind me. I'm just being selfish. Will you please tell me when you find out what day you're leaving? I'd like to see you off, at least as far as the Air Laten checkpoint. That was quite something indeed. And look at that. Chapter 2, Madrigal of the White Magnolia. And... If you're gonna puke, do it off stage. That's the achievement I just got now. Let's celebrate, everyone! By moving right to Chapter 3. Huff, huff. Stubborn bastard. Hey, hey, hey! How the heck is he keeping up with such a huge sword? Hey, my training methods... Rah! Damn, we can't shake him. We have no choice. Time to counterattack. I guess you're finally taking me seriously. Good. I was getting sick of playing tag with you fools. He's not going to give up until he's dead. What a stubborn idiot. Does he really think he can beat two to one odds? Haha, <laughs> I think I already have. What? Every fight takes spirit. You lose that, you lose everything. And I figured out exactly what kind of spirit you losers had when you took off with your tails between your legs. It's a silence, Gilder Dog. We can handle you. You're in for a painful death. Boom. Gah! D damn it, we can't get caught now. Heh, <laughs> okay. How about if you just surrender and give me your full confessions? Starting with who you are and what you're after. You need to concern yourself with about that. What? Wh when did you get here? C commander you came for us. You two are pitiful. You fail to report in as appointed, and this is why? We have no excuses. We've had a lot of interference. I get it, so you're the man in charge. Haha. -ha. Only of only of this particular scene. Allow me to apologize on behalf of my men. Could I persuade you to overlook this incident? Huh? Okay, repeat that. 
I said, I'd like for you to overlook this incident. You never had any intention of running afoul of the Bracer Guild. Don't make me laugh. You think I'm just gonna look the other way and let you get away with what you did? Ah well, I had thought it a generous offer personally. Certainly a fairer price than death. Both of you, stand down. Return to the rendezvous point at once. Y yes sir! Thank you, Commander. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Son of a... Heh, <laughs> fine. The target may have change, but as long as I have one. And you being the leader, I assume you've got better information to offer me than your underlings anyway. Ha, huh. you think it'll be easy to make me talk? I sure as hell intend to find out. Oh boy. Oh, this music is pretty awesome. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. You have an irres irrepressible passion, but a great weight bears down upon you. You are not quite so different from me. What did you just say? It's a painful thing to be powerless in a time of crisis, but you know that feeling all too well, no? I can see it in your eyes. Ha ha ha. Fine then. I don't know who you are, but I think I like you. There's no shame in powerlessness. There's no shame in being outmatched. You and I both know that. Perhaps we could come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Screw you! Don't act like you know anything about me. You're in for one hell of a beatdown. Heh. Yeah! Gah! Heh, <laughs> all talk, no shock. Bet the guild's gonna love interrogating you. What, what, what the? Oh no. Is that the body split craft? I got to sense something fate from the dark forest beyond. Heh heh heh. Nice try, but you've got a heavy heart. And a heavy heart makes for a light blade. Why don't you come out from hiding and say that? When a warrior enters a skirmish, he must be prepared to lose everything. Otherwise, he can gain nothing. In order to live as a man, you must forgo all anger and grief. With that, I bid you farewell. The presence in the tree seemed to have vanished. Fooey. Fargo? How the hell am I supposed to do that? Arg! Chapter 3 The Black Ormond. The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. I think we're done with this town now. Guess she's not here yet. Did we get here that early? Could be. Want to kill some time at the tavern? Nah, it's nice out, so I think I'd rather just wait here. I know, this game is so excellent so far. I doubt I could ever get tired of the view of the river. Yeah, no kidding. I even get the feeling that Ruan's finally back to normal. Pretty amazing considering the uproar after Mar Maror Dalmor's arrest. Well, a seated Mare has never been arrested before. Try to imagine if Mare Klaus was arrested in Roland. Yeah, that would be a real shock. But when I think of it that way, the people of Ruan's almost seem cold. I mean, they were clearly surprised by what happened, but not a single person was truly shocked as far as I can tell. Well, you have to remember, the Mare of Ruan has always been selected by bloodline alone. He wasn't elected to his position by the Ruanians, and that probably makes all the difference in the world. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. The people of Roland appointed Klaus Mare because they liked him and trusted him. Dalmor's getting what he deserves, but I feel kind of bad for him. Hey, look who's here. Huh? Chloe! She's a bird now. Oh, that's Sieg. Oh, Sieg! Scree! Estelle! Joshua! There she is. Hey! Huff Huff. I'm sorry, Huff, that I'm late. No problem. We just got here ourselves. Don't tell us you ran all the way here. You really didn't need to rush. I couldn't let you two go without seeing you off. 
Thank you very much for contacting me. Chloe, I keep telling you, you don't have to thank us. You too, Sieg. Thanks for coming. Scree! Haha. <laughs> well then, shall we be off? Okay. We need to use the south exit to reach Zeiss, right? Yes, on the southern road is a checkpoint called Air Laten. You can set out for Zeiss from there. Roger that. Okay, let's go. Scree! Bye, Sieg. Will that be the last we see of, of Sieg? Probably not. Let me see if there's any more sneaky missions that we have to do. Nope. Done. Oh, hey, you guys. Karna? Are you feeling better? Fit as a fiddle. I'm back at work as of today. I wish I had some way to pay you back for all the trouble I put you through. Oh, come on. Once you become full-fledged bracers, come back to Ruan. I'll be waiting for you. Anything to say? Yep, we're going to Z, Black Orbman. Can't wait. Report! Nothing to report. My goal is to do all of the bracer missions, but I think I missed one. And I think it's too late to go back and get it. And I'll show you what I mean. I still have... Where is it? Items, maybe? The black notebook. I think I was supposed to give this to someone, but I didn't do that. So it's too late. No. Anyway, do you have one last thing to say, Mr. Helpful Girl? The mayor did something bad? He's not a nice man? Alright, thank you. See you later. The black notebook was back in Bose. Yeah. I didn't know. Is there any way to go back and give the black notebook to the person? At all? If there is, that would be very nice. But if there's not, I'm going to be taking many points off from this game. Let's avoid all these creatures. There is no way. Well, 10 points removed! Skippable quest? That's one of the biggest sins ever! But still, this game is still beautiful. Two out of ten missed a mistable quest. Yep. Worst game ever. I'd rather play, uh, what's that game called? Ninja Bread Man than this. Now, Ninja Bread Man, that's a good game. That game don't, definitely will not have me just clawing my eyes out. From how amazing it is. Anyway, I have not been to this tower yet, so I will explore this right now. What will be in the Sephiro Tower? Maybe a hidden quest. Or maybe not. Ooh, this looks like a water a water-based tower. Oh, I didn't even see that. Uh, sorry, but I don't have time for you right now. Just kidding. Hehehe, <laughs> sneak behind you. Okay, so this thing has the... This thing's, like, immune to... Uh, art. Not art. Immune to direct attacks. Which is a little bit annoying. But, you know, it's fine. Uh, art, craft, art. Yes, art. Fireboat! Fireboat. Yes, I said that right. I don't want him getting the thing, so I'm just gonna heal Joshua. Ah, you don't get a strength up now. You stupid.
stupid flying encephalopod, whatever you are. Uh, let's take that out. Get out of here. We have no time. Let's use... Aqua Bleed! Oh, why is it all the way down there? Fireball! Ooh! Joshua, this doesn't matter, but just do whatever. So fighting these things takes a long time, so I might avoid them from now on. Hey, at least we got a lot of gems. Got a lot of gems. Alright, let's see how crazy this place is. I don't think so. Sorry, jellyfish. I don't have time for you. Okay, that leads upstairs. What about this section? Also upstairs. Okay. This also leads upstairs. Looks like a pretty straightforward place. Oh, wait a minute. That leads downstairs, this way. Oh boy, I'm gonna get lost. Oh, careful. Wait a minute. I thought I saw... Ah, hot fried chicken. You seem to be laboring under the hope that something else will magically appear in this empty chest. Let me quash that for you right now. Okay. That wasn't a very nice chest. The towers get all complicated. Can't wait. I love complicated towers. Look at this. Another... I don't even know... I don't even know anymore. It's a barrel tower. Third floor. Second floor. There's a horse. Uh, a horsey there. Yes, a horsey there. A seahorse. I've been playing Pokemon too long. I no longer know what the original animals are. Something tells me Chloe's not gonna travel with us anymore. Which is too bad, she was a great companion. The question is, who will be joining us in this chapter? One must wonder why this was built. Good job, Joshua. I'm sure we'll be figuring out soon. If not in this game, then the next game. And if not in that game, then the third game. <sighs> Maybe Joshua can lead the team soon. That would be excellent, actually. a pretty princess doesn't excuse you from having bad aim, Joshua. Tear Bomb! Who cares about the Tear Bomb? Insert treasure here. Very cute. Cute stuff game. Gotta remember which places we went to. We did not go this way yet, I believe. Yes, I was right. EP charge! So, when do you plan on giving me my stuff back? Uh, never. Bye! Alright, back this way. Going down. We're going this way. Oh boy. Lots of seahorses here. Range 1! You have found the ultimate treasure. Oxygen! Alright. That's gonna really help us with our travels, because now we can finally breathe. I think that was the problem. I just couldn't breathe this entire game. Darn it. Darn these things. Tear bomb! It's empty! Treachery! That's the biggest mystery now. Treasure chest with nothing in it. Even though I already checked it. Well, that's enough of that. Let's go back up. Hey, another one. 
monsters appeared. Poopy. And there's three of them. No, not Shadow Spear. Hellgate. Art. Arrow. Oh boy. This is gonna hit hard, I bet. Let's see what normal attacks do. Okay, not much, but it's something. Hellgate! Boom! One is dead. And they self-destructed. Thanks a lot. <laughs> that one just explodes. It does not care. Joshua, for missing all of those attacks, you have to face this thing's uh, wrath. I hope you learned your lesson. God, I'm an awful person. Found a scent. Not you again. What the heck is a scent? Something here, maybe? No. A book? It's a book? No. Is it a quartz? It has to be a quartz. Uh, yep, right there. Enemies become aware of presence. If you came here in Chapter 2, the self-destruct would be would be doing much more damage. Good thing I'm here in, here in Chapter 3, then. I mean, I'd still use it. I'd still have Joshua attack that thing, but still. Very useful in boss fights. Because of the three wind. Alright, alright. I'll pop it on him, then. Uh, which way was I going? This way, right? I might be a little bit lost. Okay, now we're good. This is a new place. See, there's a chest right there. If I combine it... Ooh, I can combine quartzes. I haven't been able to do that yet. Oh, come on! Yeah, mate, we got more stuff here. Got more monsters. Preparing to use arts. Well, joke's on you guys. Estelle's gonna get a little hurt, but you know what? That's fine. Oh, wow, that did a lot. Uh... Move back here. Sorry, Estelle! Combining is the wrong word. Oh, pairing it. Alright. Sorry, Estelle! That's that thing. Let's move out. Battle suit. The voices in my lid said that you'd return. Yes, I have returned. Battle suit. Armor padded in various places to absorb shock. Oh, she already has one. In that case, you can have it, Joshua. And she'll just be there. Alright, what have we got next? This way. We are going this way. Up the ladder. Here's another chest. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, Estelle, we're gonna have to, I'll let you get hit by this again. But, you know, it's fine. You can take them out easily now. Again, you know, just go there. Boy, they're preparing to use an art. Oh, this is gonna hurt. JK, you're all dead. Who do? 
Army boots. You came back. I knew you would. Uh, let's see. Army boots? Yes, I will take these. You can have nothing, Joshua. Sorry. Ooh, I like the fountain here. So, there's just monsters everywhere now. Good thing Estelle can take a hit. And Joshua can keep using Hellgate. Dynamic duo here. Oops, don't do that. Use Hurricane, please. Oh. That didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. I think we need to do a little... A little bit of this. There we go. Don't scare me with your little arts. Poor Estelle. That's that then. Let's move out. Flamberg. Hey, close my lid. What, were you born in a barn? Maybe. I'm pretty sure a Flamberg is. Yeah, it's not a staff. Is it a saber? Oh, she could have used this. Thanks, Chast, for giving me a thing that she won't be using. Uh, there's a thing there. Want to avoid him. Got all of these chests. Up we go! We're at the top! There's that thing. I bet that thing is, like, very important. It's like a teleporter. We can teleport between all the towers. Whoops. We're just gonna auto-save a bunch of times now. Alright, let's get out of here. probably should have gotten the tower, like, uh, later. I should have gotten it, just got the tower earlier, rather. But hey, as long as we climb them, I'm happy. Oops, avoid that thing. Uh, there was another treasure chest that I want. Gotta get to it. Gotta get it. Which way is the right way? This way? Yes! EP charge! The clowns told me you'd be back. There's clowns in this game? Please no, I'll stop this playthrough right now. No, of course I'm not. But still, no clowns please. Come on, you can do it. Keep going up and down and up and down the staircases. Oh, you stay away from me. Okay. Keep doing that. Alright, let's, let's get out of here. That was fun. Darn it! Let's go! Our time with Chloe will end very soon. We had fun. But all good things must come to an end. <laughs> Even tougher monsters, I bet. Tougher than that moth bird and the big birds. But we'll get new companions. I can't wait to see who. 
Oh, geez, be careful. Lots of birds. The Air Laten checkpoint. Remember this place? With the nice waterfalls? And that snob of a guy that was here? I've been here before, but this is a nice little spot. The view here is breathtaking. Certainly doesn't feel like a checkpoint, that's for sure. Actually, I hear that a lot of visitors come here to see the waterfall. Really? Ruan sure has a lot of nice places, huh? I can understand why the Duke would want to live here. Agreed. But I think Roland is also a nice relaxing place to live. Oh, you've been to Roland? Yes, I've been to all five of the great cities. Oh, that's right. Zeiss is up ahead. You'll be surprised how charming it is. Hmm, really? Sounds like we're in for some fun. Alright, why don't we get the paperwork started then? Okay. Let's go! Time for paperwork! Woohoo! Hey. One batch of paperwork, please. Good afternoon. How may, how may I be of assistance? We were wondering what had to be done to obtain permission to enter Zeiss. Ah, okay then. Step right up, I'll take care of you. Be aware, though, that once these procedures have begun, you will not be allowed to leave the checkpoint. Are you okay with that? We're done here, so let's go. Yeah, go ahead, please. Then please start by signing these documents. Still on Joshua. Sign their names to the documents. All right, everything looks to be in order. Is the young lady there not joining you? No, I only came to see them off. Ah, very well, then. You'll be able to accompany them as far as the mouth of the Chaldea Tunnel. Thank you very much. What's the Chaldea Tunnel? It's the main road that joins this checkpoint to Zeiss. The path is a long tunnel that passes directly through Chaldea Hill. Wow, an underground road. That's, definite, that's definitely to be a first for me, too. Let's go! And there's no wolves to fight, either. Or Doberman, rather. Even though they said they were wolves, they were Doberman. Yeah, I like this place. Wow, this is amazing! Huh? So the waterfall comes from a man-made river? I think it's called the Lost Waterway. Yeah, we'll go with that. It was made a very long time ago. Yes, and it's linked directly to the Valeria Lakeshore. Pretty impressive, given that they did it without any ornaments to help. So what's that over there? It's a bird. Oh, it's the tunnel. That's the entrance to the tunnel, I think. Yeah. So I guess this is goodbye. Yes. So you're going to be traveling around the kingdom, right? We might be able to meet again in Grandsel. Really? I'll be going back there when the Queen's birthday celebration starts. Some of my relatives will be there, so I'll have to join them. That's just a month away, isn't it? I think we may actually be in Grandsel around that time. So then, once you're done with your family stuff, contact the Grandsel Guild branch. If you do, we can try to meet up. I certainly will. Estelle and Joshua, I can't thank you enough. I won't ever forget everything that you've done for me. C come on, don't be so formal. We're in your debt as well, for many reasons. I'd say we're pretty even. What a thing to say. When, when we confronted the mirror, I said some terrible things. You care for no one but yourself, but I was no different. Huh? I've been running away from the reality of my own situation for a while now. To the orphanage, and to the academy. But the two of you taught me something. You helped me find the courage to hold my head high and find the strength to protect what matters. Because of you, I know it now. I know I how to be brave. I, I don't really get it. But if we were able to help you, I'm happy. Oh, haha, <laughs> cheer up, okay? We'll see each other again in Grantsel. Yes, absolutely. Scree! Huh, and maybe we'll get to see Sieg there as well. Scree! That was a joke. I mean, Grantsel's pretty far away. I don't think those wings would hold. Besides, your home is here. Scree? Haha, 
Sieg isn't just any bird, you know. I think he'll be there. I'm sure. Haha, <laughs> Sieg's just full of surprises, isn't he? Well then, shall we be off? Yeah. Hey, good luck to the both of you on your journey. I'll be, and I'll be praying to, for you to find your father. Scree! Star! Did you just say star scree? Uh, Sieg, thank you. You two take care. Goodbye, Chloe. And goodbye, Sieg. I'll never forget you. Scree! Yes, I think so, too. We'll see them again. Sorry to keep you waiting, Chloe. Who's this? Miss Julia? You're done with your duties at Layston Fortress? Yes, it took a longer than I had anticipated. Pardon my rudeness, but I've come to get your report on the incident. Thank you for your service. Scree! Hey now, settle down, Sieg. Have you been fulfilling your duty as escort? Scree! Haha, <laughs> he's always been very helpful. Isn't that right, Sieg? Scree! He's certainly chipper. The Arzriel is stopped at the end of the highway. You're to report in there. Understood. I'll be leaving school for a while. I'll need to say goodbye to my teachers before returning to Grantsel. Estelle, Joshua, I'll take what you taught me and show you that I can be strong. Stronger than even you two. I'll do everything in my power to see to that. But there's something more to Chloe than we think. We'll just have to see later, though. Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I just got the feeling that someone was coming. Huh? There's someone in here other than us? Nope. Just plot stuff happening while you two are gone. Hmm, guess not. Yeah. Sorry, must have imagined it. Oh, I get it. Heh, <laughs> I think you've still got a little crush on Chloe. Huh? What makes you say that? Oh, don't be shy. You know I can read you like a book. It's not unreasonable, after all. You did, um, kiss her during the play. But what if she asked you to come back? You'd say yes, right? I guess you didn't notice, then. Notice what? The last scene? That was just for show, you know. It was stage, so it would have so it would look like a real kiss for the audience. What? You can really be com you can really you really can be completely clueless sometimes. It was written right there in the script notes. Oh, um, ha ha ha. I see. Note to self: Do not insert foot into mouth. But why do I feel so relieved? Um, Estelle, you okay? Ha ha ha! I'm fine! Come on, come on, Zeiss awaits! I think Estelle might have a little crush on Joshua! It's fine, they're not actually related. Let's see how these new enemies are like. Alright, they don't do much. We don't do much damage to them as I thought. So, fire does more damage to them, apparently. Still not a lot. Oh well. Whoops. We are sure to see more turtles down the road. Piece of cake. Pizza cake. Have you heard of pizza cake before? There's no such thing, I don't think, don't worry. Alright, this way has some neat stuff. Oh, there's a worm there. There's a worm! Here's a chest. Cure a balm. Cure a balm, rather. The chest is empty because you removed the contents. You loser! I thought it said loser. Loser for a second. You loser! Found Terra Balm. Nope. Still empty. Who could have predicted this crush? Crush. I guess people who are maybe three years old? Maybe even younger than that? <laughs> Terra Bomb again. The chest is empty. Like your thieving heart! Oh, 
sorry. I get reprimanded every time I open a chest. Alright, let's take a... Take down a worm, shall we? It's only one. But you never know. Okay. We do a lot more to the worms. Goodbye. We're getting a lot of XP from them. That's good. What's up? I love this game. Hello, Nero Jesus. How are you? Welcome to the stream, and I love this game as well. I have just arrived on Chapter 3. Chapter 3, and we are going this way. I don't know what happens in Chapter 3, but we're gonna have fun. Looks like we'll be mining a lot. We'll be mining, we'll be crafting, we'll be looking for diamonds. This chapter is wild, I can't wait then. The last chapter was pretty wild as well. Death Blow 2. Yes, thank you for not spoiling. Reduced to searching empty chests, that's really sad. Well, you know what? You can just go away, you know that chest person? Uh, let's see, what's super if the, ooh, fire. I will be using fire on these things. Joshua will attack normally. Yeah, it was, did you ex suspect Delmore was the villain? I actually had no idea. He looked like a nice guy. And then when we confronted him, his personality did a complete 180. But that's what I like. I'm glad that I'm still getting little surprises like this. That's that. Let's move out. Who knows what surprises we'll get in Chapter 3. In chapter 4, er, no, in chapter 3, 2, in chapter 2, I thought Polly was the main villain. Just look at her. Well, don't look at her. You don't have to. She's pretty cute. But you never know. You can't trust the, li the li little ones. What's this? What is this thing? Can't trust Polly. What'd you, what'd you think of the play? Possibly one of the best plays I've ever seen in a video game. It may even stack up to the play in Final Fantasy VI. That play is, is super fa famous. Like the most famous of plays in all of video games. But this one was pretty good too. So, I'm gonna tell you what I told everyone else. The reason I'm playing this game is because I saw an anime movie and that involves these characters in this game. And I watched it and I was like, what? What's going on? I'm confused. What's going on here? So that's why I'm playing it now. Luckily, the movie didn't spoil too much of this game, or at least I don't think it has so far. I don't remember it that well. Oh my gosh, how long? How long of a path do we got? Any more creatures? No. There was an anime movie. I think it was an OVA. That's what someone in chat said a couple streams ago. It's another turtle. We don't need those anymore. What's this? Limestone cave warning beware of monsters. Okay. Oh, we better not. We'll see a lot of limestone limestone cave later, I bet. You saw the trailer for it and you want to watch it. I recommend it. There's a manga of it too. Oh, don't say that. I'm gonna want it. There's barely enough room on my shelves. I have like a weird, I have a weird disability disorder where if I get manga in my eyes, I have to quickly buy every single volume of it or I suffer from rashes or something. It 
it's a real thing. It's serious, too. People have died. Okay, not really. Celestial Bomb. Aha! You again! I think the chests are one of my favorite parts of this game. Terra Bomb. The chest is empty, but you may now fill it with your tears. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> no. Have you tried borrowing the manga from the library? Unfortunately, I haven't been to the library in years. And even though, and even if I did, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be there. Libraries don't like manga, or at least mine doesn't. The chests are hilarious. I love the chests. <clears throat> oh, cutscene time, baby. Huff, huff. I've got to hurry. Who's this voice? Huh? Someone's coming this way. I know her. Oh. Good afternoon. Where's the fire? G good afternoon. Um, are you taking this road too? Well, yeah. Have you seen any lights that weren't working? The lights along the tunnel wall, I mean. Huh, sorry if they... Sorry. If there are, I haven't noticed any. All of the lights we passed were still on, but we did pass one that was flickering. There's two rivers between it and there. That's it! It's just like I thought. Sorry, I have to hurry. I remember her from the anime. I wonder if she's from Zeiss. Strange little kid. She seems awfully flustered. Hmm, now I'm kind of worried. Hey, you want to try following her? You read my mind. I don't like the idea of a little girl wandering around here by herself. We should catch up to her and stick close. Okay, come on, let's hurry. Who's your favorite playable character so far? For playability's sake, I'll say Estelle for now. But for character in general, I kind of like Olivia. But I believe my vote is going to change now that that girl that appeared just now appeared. The Red Girl, that's her name for now. I like Chloe too, she's pretty good. I like all of them so far. Joshua, however, keeps missing all of his attacks. Fan translation. Very nice. As long as the fans do a good job translating. Oh, careful. Avoid monsters. You might have parts of the Japanese manga. Nice. Too bad we can't, like, read manga on stream. I should probably save it. Probably save it. Something tells me this little girl is gonna get us into a little bit of trouble. Where'd she go? Oh, here we go. There's another bridge. <sighs> I can't believe there are so many of them. It's going to break at this rate. Maybe this. Ooh, guns. Bearing set. Angle of elevation, 20 degrees. Orbital compression at 30%. Go! If you come on any closer, then I won't miss next time. I mean it. Dang. Oops, I think that might have made them angrier. Ah! Yeah! Huh? Hey, I remember you. We can talk later. Get back. We gotta get rid of these things first. Alright. So, little girl was on our team. Let's do. Flicker! No, let's not. These things are weak, so we'll just attack this one normally. For Estelle, we'll have her do Hummel. No, not Hummel. What do they want to do? Hurricane. Whack them all! Okay, 
and we'll have little girl do... She has a lot of art things. What crafts do you have? I can't use them anyway. Uh, stone impact, I guess? Yeah. Oh, they heal. Gummy juice! More gummy juice? Go, little girl! Very nice. Uh... Darn, I have to kill only one of them. How about you? Later! Speed is very down, but it doesn't matter. Dead. And now we'll have little girl attack normally. And she can do it too. Wow. Oh wow. I like this person. She's super cute, and she's a badass. That was scary. Um, thank you very much. I thought I was a goner for sure. Ha ha ha. Well, the important thing is that you're safe. But you really should be more careful. Stirring up monsters is a surefire way to get yourself eaten. But, if I left them alone, they probably would have broken the light. Speaking of which, why were those things go- why would those things go after the lights anyway? Don't they do the same thing when the highway lights are switched out? The septium in those circuits is the monster's favorite food. The highway lights won't keep monsters away either, but when they stop working, they have the exact opposite effect. I get it. Still, you shouldn't mess with stuff like that. Septium might be their favorite food, but little girls probably rank a close second. Oh, so sorry. Go easy there. Giving her nightmares and saying don't do that isn't exactly going to score you any points. Oh, don't be such a wet blanket. Anyway, my name's Estelle, and I'm Joshua. We're bracers, affiliated with the guild. Oh, so that's why you're so tough. I'm Tita. I work as an apprentice at the Central Factory. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Well then, Tita. Well, we're heading to Zeiss, so do you want to join us the rest of the way? That's right, you don't want to be around here if the monsters show up again. R really Thank you! Would you mind waiting for a little bit? I've gotta get that light fixed. Yeah, it's probably it's probably risky to leave it like that. How in the world did you know it had burned out, though? Well, I was lucky enough to notice the problem when I was looking in the computer database. It seems like a defective unit was installed here by mistake. Ah, alright. It's a good thing you caught it when you did. Computer? Database? Mmph! Okay, that should do it. Sorry it took so long. Wow, color me impressed. Well, if she's an apprentice at the Central Factory, she has to be good. Hehe, <laughs> well, I didn't do anything special. I just fixed the quartz connection and adjusted the orbital pressure. Well, it sure sounds special. It's not that big a deal. Um, okay, how do we explain this? Each orman has a quartz circuit inside, and if it... And if that isn't properly connected, the orbital energy inside the unit will have nowhere to go. As a result, the orbman won't be able to function properly. This happens sometimes with the highway lights, which means their ability to give out light and ward off monsters is comp compromised, so... S stop M Maybe you should save the explanation for after we get on the road. I mean, if we stand around too long, the monsters, you know? Yeah, I guess so. I was just warming up, too. Whew! Haha. <laughs> well, why don't we set out for Zeiss, then? Okay. Yes, sir! So now we have Tita on the team. Let's get a better look at her. Aww, she's pretty cute. She has her cute goggles and head and red overalls. Shorts? Short tails? Whatever. She's super cute! Anyway, let's continue. What adventures will we get with this person? This child we have brought along? We should probably heal. 
Those worms did a number on Estelle. Oh, I just noticed you like Shara and Estelle. I almost forgot about Shara. I don't know. I think Tita might be getting close to a favorite. Just because she's so cute! Forgive me. I like cute crap. What about it? What of it? Darn it! Surprise attack! Fine, I wasn't paying attention. We'll go through with it. Doesn't mean I'll be happy about it, though. Boom! I like that. Yeah, I like cute because I've never had a little sister of my own, and I've always wanted one. But alas, that is a thing that will never happen in the future. Maybe Tita can replace Joshua. Jeez. Earth Guard! Little girls, big guns. Oh, we can't even hit him now. Something tells me this won't hit either, but... My oh, there we go. She's level 18. Cool. Just watch, what if she's like one of those special cases where she's actually really old? But she just looks young. <sighs> this has been good. We got a lot done today. Chapter 2 is flipping done. Did I go that way already? Yes, I did. That's where those chests were. We fought off some worms. We fought off some tortoises. Bought two big doggies, which I didn't really like killing, but we had we had to. Oh, oh, the tunnel ends here. So does that mean this is the entrance to Zeiss? That's right. It leads right into the basement of the Central Factory. I'm excited to see it. The Central Factory is the pride and joy of Zeiss, since it's an industrial city. I heard it was a... I heard it was big, but that's really all I know. Yeah, well, yeah, it's really huge. Anyone who's not used to the layout could get lost in a hurry. Brr, that's a creepy thought. I'm beginning to worry about whether or not we'll really be able to make it to the guild. The way out to the city is up on the first floor. I'll show you how to get there. Thanks. Well, let's go in. First off, there's a guy here. Okay, that makes eight cans. Check and double check. Let's check in on the factory. Check, check, check it out. Let's see Zeiss now. This is the Zeiss Central Factory. Oh, I like the shadows. I know I always say that, but still. Left elevator, right basement ornament workshop. Shall we go this way? Just to see what's up. Whoa, what's this place? Wow, it looks almost like it looks like almost the entire factory is completely automated. Hehe. <laughs> Below the city there are lots of ornament factories. They might they make everything from lights to airship parts. That's awesome. A little overwhelming, but awesome. Cool stuff. Oh, there's only one emergency staircase through that door. If you want to go up to the ground floor, just go back the way you came and straight down the hall. Sure thing. I don't think I'm supposed to be down here yet. Uh, I wonder what he's doing right now. Okay, enough of that. Get your head into the job, girl. Yeah. What are you doing? Thinking of things like that. I know what's in here. Nothing. That's what's in there. I 
know how I know that? He didn't. B1. Dead end. Okay, what's with this room? This is the elevator. It can take us from the basement to the roof. Hmm. Can't say you've ever seen one of these outside of the mines. And this one seems super high tech. Haha, <laughs> well this is ice. And since this is the central factory, I'm sure they have quite a few of these. They have more than one? Hee <laughs> hee, it's the latest model too! Maximum weight capacity, 50 torum. It can handle even heavy industrial equipment with no problem. I don't entirely get it, but it sure sounds impressive. So how do we get it to move? Oh, you just pick which floor you want on that panel. Let's see, you want to go to the city, right? Yes, can you take us up to the first floor? Okay! Whoa! Woohoo! Almost looks like we're at the guild already. Whoa, check out the size of this place. This is the central factory's main floor. It's where the reception desk and consumer maintenance windows are. I see. So we can get out of town from here. Oh, Tita. <clears throat> Miss Hazel? There you are. Supervisor, Supervisor Travis had biz, has been looking for you. He'd like for you to go straight to the operations room. Oh, okay, I will. Uh-oh, sounds urgent. Thank you for showing us around. It's no big deal. It's the least I can do after you beat up those monsters for me. Well, we're planning to be in Zeiss for a little while. Would you mind if we stopped by to see you again? I... I'd love that. Bye-bye, then. Aw, oh, what a little cutie. See you later. Ah, what a sweet kid. I get the impression that she's a lot tougher than she looks. I agree. Uh, I've always wanted a sweet, lovable little sister like her. Instead of, might I add, an obnoxious little brother. You keep saying things like that, but you're the one who's always following me around. If you want to be more like a real older, sis older sister, you need to get your head out of the clouds every now and then. Look who's talking. Anyway, all sibling rivalries aside, want to head, head into the city? Yeah. First, I'd like to switch assignments at the guild. Plus, we can see if there's any inf new information on the Orman or Dad. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Welcome to the Zay Central Factory. Questions? Don't worry, I'm good. This is the staircase. This is the repair people. Oh, modify. Nope. Don't gotta modify the slots. But we can make some amazing quartz now. Attack 2, that's what I needed. Shield, evade, sleep, impede. Yes. Yes! Before we enter the city, though, I think now is a good stopping point. This has been very good, though. We're moving right along. And we're... Yeah, we're just moving right along. What am I, what am I doing? Zeiss. Let's see what's nearby that we'll have to explore eventually. Chaldea Hills, Laystin Fortress, Limestone Cave, Carnelia Tower, Wolf Fort, and Elmo. Awesome. I can't wait. Let's do a nice save. Alright. Thank you, Selen, for joining me once again. I'm not sure if Nero is still here, but if you are, thanks for joining me as well. And I will hopefully see you all the next time. Later!